Hello everybody, this is Mike Brzezinis from Southern Forestry Consultants, and today I'm going to show Planet Labs imagery for monitoring harvest in real time. And we often use this imagery uh, within our uh, web GIS for forestry, um, uh, as well as our customers. And so I'm going to show how this imagery is made much more useful uh, when we use it with our GIS. So let me jump over to ArcGIS Pro. And I want you to note that the date um, is May 14th today when I'm recording this. And we're going to show imagery just, just from the very recent past with a, with a harvest area that's, that's ongoing. So you can see this focus stand in the middle uh, of the map here in ArcGIS Pro. And on April 16th, there, there's no activity here. It's completely forested. And then we go through uh, the 21st. You can see the harvesting begin the 25th. This area is pretty much cut out May 2nd, and the crew has moved into this area over here. And then May 9th, they pretty much cut out the whole entire area. So that's going up until five days ago, and uh, there's really no change after that, even though we do have some imagery from Planet right up to, to uh, yesterday. So um, that's real quick, progression of that harvest. And, and what's really powerful here is we have our business data, such as our stands and our tracks, and we can make those updates very quickly. That business data lives in GIS. And we can see here, I have one particular map for an operating, operating area uh, where this map can actually um, be open from anywhere. So I'm gonna have this imagery also come up in uh, a mobile device using uh, Esri's ArcGIS Explorer. So if we use WebGIS, we can extend this imagery out to mobile devices and all kinds of different apps from Esri, not just Pro. So we can get it outside the GIS experts. So I'll flip over to my mobile device and just show this really quick. Let me just close Pro. So here's that same exact harvest. And uh, another neat thing about this, we note the date, May 14th, we've just jumped over and we're showing this this data or this imagery just from a few days ago right here in Explorer. And um, what what's really cool about this, you never touch a file. There's no files and imagery to manage and move from different places. We can actually just enable these real-time imagery services directly into your WebGIS for use on all these different uh, software such as Pro and Explorer. So that's just a real quick uh, run through on uh, how us and some of our clients are using planted imagery in the context of WebGIS. Thank you. Uh, if you want to see more videos, they're on our website and on our YouTube channel. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Thank you.